Hello everyone, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny, a network and security guy. In this video, I want to show you a CIS free tool C set which you can use to evaluate your company's security posture. Previously, I introduced CIS free tool CIS Cat Light to assess your system's security configuration. But this tool can evaluate your whole organization's security controls implementation. It can help your organization to identify where your CIS control safeguard being well implemented or where there are weak points that could be improved. CIS critical security controls are recommended set of action for cyber defense that provide specific and actionable ways to sort the most pervasive attacks. In this video, I not go through CIS those critical controls. I'm gonna only show you how to use this free assessment tool CIS CSAT to do the evaluations. Now let's start it. From CIS Controls Self Assessment Tool web page, you should be able to find out the sign up today link. We can click on it. This will bring you to CIS CSAT login page. If you don't have an account yet, just register now. Put your basic information here. Most likely you just need an email address. Then you should be able to start to work on. Of course, you will also need to enter your organization name and the industry type, implementation group, website, and also which version of your critical control set. It's either version 7 or either version 8. Version 7 has 20 controls, version 8 has 18. After you signed up, you can go back to login page, login as I'm doing here. You will get one time password to enter in here. That will be sent through your email. After you verify the OTP, you will be able to log in. This is the dashboard. Before we can start our assessment, you may want to customize your organization. You can set up secondary organizations. I already set up my primary. You can add it, add logo. If change the website, change your industry type. If all those things are correct, you may want to also add a couple of users. Since these free tools support collaborations across multiple users, you can assign the controls to certain user to do it, verify it, and validate it. Once all those things set up, then you can start in to do your assessment. When you register your account, you may only select the version 7.1 or you may only select the group 1. You can change group 1 to group 2 or to including group 3 as well. But for change the critical control version, you have to create a new blank assessment. So let's call it version 8, first one. Then we can change it to version 8.0. Then choose start. This may take a couple minutes to get creating a new assessment for you.
So now let's do our first assessment. So you can go to all controls. You will see all implementation group one controls out here. You just need to answer the control questions one by one. Before we answer the questions, you may want to assign those controls to your user. For example, assign to user a sec, you set up a due date, end of September, and you leave a message. So then we already assigned it. We haven't completed those control questions. We also haven't validated. Let's, now let's answer the questions one by one. So here is the options we can use. I'm going to quickly go through all those questions and answer them one by one. So I'm going to pause my video recording now and come back once I finished all. Finally, I finished all questions. I filled in all data with the answers here. For each question, you also can upload evidence documentation here. You can add some notes. Once you finished the sub controls, you can choose complete sub, sub controls. You will also see the overall score. So if we go to the dashboard, so here is a nice diagram. We got the spider web diagram. You will see the organization average is 73. The industry average actually is very low, only 11. From this spider web, we can tell which control we need to improve to make it above the industry average. We can tell CSC 18 and the CSC 16. Also C10, C13, those four controls, we can improve our score dramatically. That will make our next step to enhance our security much easier. So we know where to start to work on for our next step. We finished one controls, so we will need to do validate it. Once we complete one control, for you will see the green button. You can say complete. We complete our sub control here. We also can see option here to do validate or send back to review again. For each control you will also get a score you can compare with industry average score as well. After you done all the work we can generally report for that. So the first report we generated, we can take a look. So all those diagrams you can use it in your report. There are three different types of reports you can generate it. Summary report, status report. Let's open offline to take a look. Here are all questions.
That's all for this video. I already showed you how to log in to CIS CSAT host version to do a basic assessment for your organization. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video has some useful information for you, please give me a thumb up. Also, if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do. Thank you for watching. See you in my next episode.